Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's Dani and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to crochet the cottage mug rug. This is a beautiful and super simple design. It is totally beginner friendly and I just love them so much. I have them all around my house. They just have that, like the name said, cottage vibe and I really really like them. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. And also remember that like I always do, I will leave the link in the description box below that will take you to my blog and there you can find the reading pattern, all the materials and everything that you need to know. So always check the description box below. So now let's see what you need to make this beautiful mug rug. So you are going to need 100% cotton yarn, I'm using 24-7 cotton by Lion Brand. You will also need a 5mm crochet hook and a pair of scissors. We're going to begin with the foundation chain. And you will need 19 chains. Now single crochet in the second chain from the hook and continue with single crochet all the way down. In the next row we're going to do the super beautiful stitch that I don't know the name so if you know the name please leave it in the comments below so we can all learn <laughs> the name. I just made it up and I'm sure it has a name. So we're gonna start with chaining one, turn your work and now insert your hook in the space right here grab yarn and pull through and now before closing insert your hook in the space below yarn over and pull through those three loops. We're gonna do it again. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and before closing we're gonna go in the space below, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through three. Very simple, yet very beautiful stitch and like I said before I don't know the name so I would really really appreciate if you can um, if you know the name just leave it in the comment below so we can all learn this beautiful stitch and the last stitch can be a little bit confusing so pull right there and finish that row you should have 18 stitches. Next row we're going to do a single crochet row. So chain one, turn your work and single crochet in the first space available and now single crochet all the way down. And for the next row we're going to repeat row number two. And this is basically what we're going to do in the entire project. Alternate rows 1 and 2 until you reach a perfect square. So in here we're going to do it a little slow. In here it's easier now to see the spaces in the previous row. So insert your hook and now insert in the row below and close that stitch. The first and second row are always mm, the more confusing one because you know you have the foundation chain and it's just a little bit more complicated but after that it's super super easy. I mean no complicated but sometimes can be a little hard to see the stitches. 
So now continue until you have a perfect square. So here I'm done with my square and as you can see the front looks very very nice but the back is also so beautiful and that's what I like about this stitch is that it's reversible so you have two different nice sides. So grab your measuring tape and make sure you actually have a perfect square or almost perfect. So I have 6 inches by 6 inches and just a teeny tiny bit more. It's just good enough. Now we can cut the yarn and we're going to start with the fringes. And this is what gives that, I don't know, very nice vibe <laughs> to the mug rug. I'm going to be cutting um, strands of yarn. These are approximately 4 inches long or 10 centimeters. Depending how long you want them to be, I'm going to cut them after. So I'm just making my life easier by cut cutting them long. And just cut a lot of them. A lot. <laughs> And now I'm gonna use three strands at a time make sure they are aligned and grab your crochet hook and bring the three strands of yarn don't pull all the way through just a little bit and this is how we attach the fringes this is one and now I'm gonna make nine more and here I have my fringes attached on both sides now you're gonna need a very sharp pair of scissors and cut to your desired length And do the same on the other side okay and now this is optional but I really like the way it looks I'm going to brush or fluff up my fringes and I'm gonna be using this pet brush um, that I actually got at Michaels and it's called a macrame brush I think but you can go to a pet store and it's the same thing and I'm pretty sure cheaper <laughs> So all you're going to do is um, brush your fringes and fluff them up and all you're doing in here is separating every single piece of fiber in your yarn and then just cut the imperfections and uh, there you go. That's how you make the cottage mug rug very simple very beautiful a project that you can have done in under 30 minutes you can customize obviously the colors and also the size you can make it bigger you can make it smaller you can even make a placemat with the same pattern so please if you make it um, tag me in social media you can find me on instagram as cj design also on facebook and pinterest and i always appreciate when you guys share and subscribe to my channel and share this video with everybody so that i can continue growing and sharing free patterns with all of you so i really hope you liked it and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial bye